Oh, excuse me? Do you have something to say? Evidently. Are you not happy that we're discussing your condition? You just came to us to, to complain, have a verbal complaint. Hey guys, so today we want to talk about something that I think a lot of Siamese cat owners will n kind of know about, but at the same time not really know about, and that's a common ailment that Siamese cats have, and that's the shaking of the eyeballs. Now the clinical term is nystagmus or nystagmus, not entirely sure how to pronounce it, but what it basically is, is a shaking of the eyeballs. I'm going to try and get some nice close-up footage of Momo's eyes. He has a mild case of this, but it's very difficult to cap capture because he doesn't always do it. It's only when he's really focused and so on. But we've been getting a lot of comments about other Siamese cat owners saying that they also have that their cats also have this. So we thought we should do a little explanation of it. I actually answered a comment just yesterday, I think, um, of someone who had watched our videos and who has the condition as a human as well. So it is something that both animals and humans can have, but it's actually quite typical in Siamese. So basically, there's two types. Um, there's a jerk motion and a pendular motion. So the jerk one is the more common one, which basically it's a slow motion into one direction and then the eye rapidly corrects it into the other. So you'll see it's a very slow motion to one side and then very quickly shooting back to be centered. And the pendular one, um, which I believe is what Momo actually has, is more repetitive and steady. So it's basically a back and forth a little bit like, well, like on a clock. Like a pendulum? Yes, like a pendulum. So it'll very either quickly or slowly move back and forth, but it's a steady rhythm instead of being slow and fast. Um, so there are different ways to f for this condition to happen. It can happen from a traumatic injury or from disease, including tumors and so on and so forth. Um, or if you bump your head or your cat falls and bumps its head, it can be a, a, a traumatic event that causes it. However, in Siamese cats, it's actually considered, well, it's considered normal because it's a genetic fault in the breeding, in the breed that has created it. So it's not, whereas if you have an, a cat that isn't Siamese who's showing this, you should definitely go have it checked by the vet and try to figure out why your cat is doing it. With Siamese, most vets will tell you that it is common and unless it's um, a problem and it's very severe, they can usually live with it quite comfortably. Yeah, we're lucky in Momo's case, it doesn't seem to be very severe. You really need to know that it's there to notice it. We only noticed it long ago when he'd be playing or hunting and I'd kind of, like, something looked a bit fishy and then once you pay attention to it, we would pick up that his eyeballs were actually shaking. And we did talk to our vet about it and she told us it's something we don't have to worry about and because it is also very mild, um, so she did have a look at it. So yeah, um, Siamese are, can be born with it, so if you have it in a Siamese, unless it's very severe, there isn't much you can do about it. It's also an uncurable disease, uh, unfortunately, so all vets would be able to do, or doctors in the human factor. Um, I didn't do the research for, for humans. If you have this disease, you're more than welcome to let us know how it affects you so that we can get a more of a background story on how it actually feels because obviously we can't ask Momo what, what it actually does to him. Um, so, but basically, <laughs> um, basically all you can do is treat the symptoms. So if it's quite severe, it can obviously cause nausea, it can cause um, problems with sight, so you might need to keep your cat indoors to make sure that they can't run into trouble because they don't see very well. Yeah, I think eye problems in general with Siamese are always a problem. Like because of their blue eyes, they've. I know Momo has issues with bright sunlight and he tries to avoid it, so this probably doesn't really help either. Um, but from what I found out, a lot of people are concerned that people or animals with this disease would actually see blurry or see double, which isn't apparently the case. Um, there's been studies done that prove that, especially because Siamese are born with it, their brains are actually have kind of evolved to negate 
the shaking um, so they actually work out the information differently so they still see a clear image the only thing that it does affect is generally their depth perception and their 3d vision obviously because yeah, of that we, we can see this whenever Momo plays or hunts he really needs to lock onto one target otherwise he gets confused like every now and then he'll stalk a couple of pigeons or something in the garden and he never really catches one because he can't zero in on one of them he always I don't know if he gets distracted or because it's because of his eyes are shaking that he can't lock onto one target. And generally he also, we do see it a lot that where he'll kind of miss the target a little bit. He'll just be like a little bit off center. So whereas when Ryu, um, our long haired, who is a very prolific um, hunter, when he, he will smack a bird out of the air if he, well, if he gets, gets close chance. enough. Um, whereas Momo, it's really he would really, I mean, he's he, he doesn't bring us birds very often. He has once or twice, but he really needs to try really, really hard. It's kind of a draw of the luck for him. I think the, generally the birds are probably the slower ones of the pack for him. But it's, it's usually when there is just one target, yeah. when you can focus on one thing and not just... What? Excuse me? Do you have something to say? Evidently. Are you not happy that we're discussing your condition? He just came to us to, to complain, have a verbal complaint. Um, and what we have noticed, and we're actually going to put this into our into one of our next videos, is we, we considered one of Momo's like quirky behaviors, but it is or could actually also be related to his eyes, is that since he's been a little one, whenever he refuses to drink out of the uh, water fountain, starting with that, he only drinks out of bowls, and when he drinks out of the bowl, he always pours at the water first. And I actually think it might be related that he just, because his depth perception isn't as good, he might need to physically feel where the water is before he can actually stick his nose in it and, and, and start drinking. Um, so those are basically the main facts. It generally with Siamese is nothing to worry about, but in any case, if you are worried, always consult your vet, always go and have a chat with them if you're worried or if you just have questions they are the specialists um, there's also a lot of information out there on the internet obviously but uh, I would generally always say consult the specialists first yeah well, look we're just basing this on our experience with one cat um, yes yeah, so we're, we're just basing basing this on what we've seen on the research we've done on what our vet has said and on the comments um, I've read recently a lot of you you guys have been leaving me comments that your cat has this or you have this and so we've just put together all the information we we could find and put put it into a little video for you and look if there is someone out there that has more detailed info is has better knowledge of this please let us know we'd we'd love to know like because we also don't know how this might change with his age and so on from what i understand i don't think it should hopefully not get worse but it could possibly but we don't know i mean he's only he's turning three this year so any information is very very welcome always. and any comments are welcome we love hearing from from you guys <clears throat> from you guys <laughs> if you found this video helpful please give us a like and don't forget to share all of this with your friends and share our channel with your friends we love to see our com community our little family grow and hopefully we can keep giving you good content and more informative videos and hit the subscribe button and go find us on instagram and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Bye.